Good evening and welcome to TCM this Tuesday. I'm Alicia Malone. Tonight we have another lineup of Fox stars for our Star of the Month celebration, and we couldn't do this spotlight without speaking about Marilyn Monroe. She became a huge asset for 20th Century Fox after her success with this film. From 1953, it's Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, directed by Howard Hawks. The original source material was a 1925 novel by Anita Luce, which was adapted in several forms, including a Broadway musical starring Carol Channing. 20th Century Fox head Daryl Zanuck then bought the film rights with his famous blonde star Betty Grable in mind to play the lead, but Grable was very expensive, so Zanuck had the idea to cast one of his lesser known and cheaper stars, Marilyn Monroe. Monroe had been working for years. This was to be her 17th credited film role, but she wasn't yet a box office guarantee. So for insurance, Zanuck decided to cast a bigger star opposite her, borrowing Jane Russell from Howard Hughes. Screenwriter Charles Lederer was hired to adapt the script. He was told to beef up the supporting role to suit the stature of Jane Russell. And Monroe and Russell play two best friends and nightclub singers, Lorelai Lee and Dorothy Shaw, who have very different personalities, but look out for each other. When Lorelai needs to travel across the Atlantic to get married in Paris, Dorothy comes along as her chaperone, but as she says, nobody chaperones the chaperone. Marilyn Monroe was nervous about taking on such a big role and her insecurities threatened to overwhelm her. But Jane Russell calmed her down, acting as a sort of translator for Howard Hawks and supporting Monroe through their long days of filming, as well as all of the challenging dance rehearsals with choreographer Jack Cole. From 1953, one of my favourite films, this is Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Marilyn Monroe was worried about starring in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes because it was her biggest role at 20th Century Fox to date. But she worked very hard, rehearsing her big number, Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend, many times, and insisting on singing the bulk of the song herself. She asked for 11 takes of the number, and musical director Lionel Newman said she was congenial, courteous, not temperamental, and never forgot to thank everyone who worked with her. Gentlemen Prefer Blondes was a huge hit, and along with her performances in Niagara and How to Marry a Millionaire, both also released in 1953, Marilyn Monroe became a movie star. She would be one of the biggest stars at 20th Century Fox throughout the 1950s, causing endless headaches for directors, but always delivering on the silver screen and going on to be a true Hollywood icon. Marilyn Monroe also appears in our next movie, briefly, alongside Fox star Ann Baxter and the former Warner Brothers star Betty Davis. It's going to be a bumpy night, so keep watching. Next on TCM, All About Eve, then Laura, and later The Graduate. TCM's lineup is fully baked tonight. 